United States Navy has a new ship in their fleet thanks to work done at Bath Iron Works. Today, hundreds gathered to watch the christening of the USS Rafael Peralta. News Center's Chris Costa has more on the ship's significant name. Fanfare surrounds the 35th missile destroyer ship built by Bath Iron Works. The DDG-115 is named after United States Marine Sergeant Rafael Peralta. It's easy to see that she is like the Marine for which she is named. Proud, fearless, and strong. According to the Navy, Peralta immigrated from Mexico to the United States. The day he received his green card, he enlisted in the Marines, later serving in Iraq. He sent his brother Ricardo a letter during his time overseas. Be proud of me. The letter goes on to say that he's going to make history. The Navy says Peralta was clearing houses in the Second Battle of Fallujah when he was shot multiple times. Insurgents threw a grenade and Peralta pulled it under his body, absorbing the blast, saving his fellow Marines. Today we are naming one of the world's most powerful fighting ships after this fighting man. The boat weighs more than 9,200 tons and is more than 500 feet long. And on its crest, the Latin motto Fortis ad Finum, courageous to the end, commemorating Sergeant Peralta's character while serving in Iraq. May she sail fast. May she be ready at all times to go in harm's way. May she be successful in all missions and do so with the pride and courage with which he served. Hundreds watched as Raphael's family joined in one of the oldest naval traditions, christening the ship. His legacy will carry on as long as the Marine Corps and the USS Rafael Peralta stays alive because he has become a part of American history. In Bath, Chris Costa, News Center.